Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is July 16th, 2024, and Pablo Torre will have to undergo surgery for an injury he picked up during training. Also, Barcelona are ready to drop all their operations and solely focus on the signing of Nico Williams. And finally, Rafinha has confirmed through his social media outlets that he is not leaving. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mo and before we begin with the news just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button Subscribe to the channel and drop a comment. All of this helps this channel continue to grow Also, if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys jerseys from any clubs around the world or jer international jerseys or even retro jerseys Make sure to check out Barca News's new partner Goal Kits where if you click on the link you will get access to a 12% discount plus their current offer of buy three jerseys get the fourth one Free and finally, if you are looking to place any sports bets, make sure you head to Bet Us. Both links for Goal Kits and Bet Us are down below in the description. And now, being with the news that the second week of the preseason training has officially kicked off, and it's being revealed that Hansi Flick has scheduled double sessions for every single day of this week except for Sunday. This goes off the back of last week. Last week was the first week of the preseason and Flick scheduled double sessions every day. And while well, this week will be no different with the players training twice a day, every single day except for Sunday. And it's also been revealed that this week, Hansi Flick will be increasing the intensity and the load of the trainings, which just goes to show that Flick is not playing around he thought that the condition of the team was a big, big problem. And while he is here to fix that with these double sessions and increase in intensity during practice, which is already visible. If you watch the videos of the training sessions, you're already seeing the players uh, breathing heavy, sweating, looking tired because Flake is not messing around. He wants to put this team in shape and he's gotten right into work. Now, speaking of the training sessions, we do have good news because Alejandro Balde officially today did part of the group training, which is good, good news. As you know, Alejandro Valde season was cut short last season when he suffered an injury. He had to undergo surgery. He's been out for several months. He has been training recently, but on an individual basis. And while well, now Alejandro Valde has joined the group training, which means that the player is very close to being declared fit. which of course is great, great news because we definitely missed Valde in that left back position where Barcelona kind of had to scramble, had to try all kinds of things. Had to, they tried Marcos Alonso for a few matches. They tried Cancelo, all kinds of players in that, even Hector Four. But now it looks like we will be getting our starting left back back in the lineup pretty soon. Now more bad news. Well, actually not more bad news. We move on from good news to bad news because there has been injury updates in regards to Pedri, Araujo, and also Pablo Torre. Now, when it comes to Pedri, look who showed up to Ciudad Esportiva. Pedri himself, who reported today to the Ciudad Esportiva to meet Flick, to meet the staff, to say hello to his teammates. He also underwent medical exams, and during these exams, it, his injury was confirmed. Of course, Pedri did pick up an injury during that clash against Germany after that nasty tackle by Toni Kroos. And well, after undergoing medical exams performed by the Barcelona medical staff, his injury has been confirmed. Pedri does have a sprain in his left knee. This has nothing to do with his previous injuries. This is strictly as a result of that foul by Toni Kroos. And while it has been confirmed that Pedri will be out for six weeks. Now, another player that visited the Ciudad Esportiva was Ronald Araujo, who also showed up to say hello to Flick, to officially meet him, meet his staff, say hello to his teammates. And of course, as we know, Ronald Araujo has suffered a serious injury, a rupture in his thigh that he picked up during the Copa America. And as I reported before, Ronald Araujo will undergo surgery. It's now been confirmed that he's going to undergo surgery in Finland, which will mean that our Eurowing captain will be out of action 
for two months and to add to all of our woes another player has picked up an injury during training this time is Pablo Torre who has suffered a fracture to his left hand to be more specific he fractured his fifth metacarpal bone in his left hand we don't know how we don't know if he fell or I don't know he was fist pumping too hard at the club but he has suffered a fracture in his hand that will require a surgery right now we don't know how long he'll be out of course a hand surgery is not gonna see him out as long as you know a surgery to to one uh, to your legs because you don't use your hands but we'll have to wait and see how long Pablo Torre will be out which is definitely a setback for the player who was looking to earn the trust of Hansi Flick and earn a spot on the first team. Now more news because it's reported that Barcelona are ready to drop all the operations and solely focus on the signing of Nico Williams. Now the signing of Nico Williams has become number one priority at the club. It is total consensus across the board that Barcelona will be signing Nico Williams. There's not a single person within FC Barcelona that if you ask, do you want Barca to sign Nico Williams, is going to say no. There's total consensus. Barcelona want to sign Nico Williams. They think he'd be a great addition to the team, given that we don't have a proper left winger, given that Nico Williams fits that profile of a player that Barcelona are looking for, someone who's fast, someone who can dribble past um, defenders and so Barcelona are determined to sign Nico Williams and not just from the sporting aspect but also from a marketing aspect because can you imagine having the two stars of the Euros La Minha Mal and Nico Williams on the same team there'll be a huge marketing boost for Barcelona a huge boost in profits when it comes to jersey sales merchandise and even ticketing so there's a total consensus that Barcelona want to sign Nico Williams they feel confident that they can sign Nico Williams and as such, they are now focusing all of their efforts on accomplishing this operation. Now, you might be asking, what does Barcelona need to sign Nico Williams? Where well, there's only one thing that they need to do, which is close the Nike deal. Now, as soon as Barcelona close the Nike deal, they will reach the one-to-one -one rule. And they will have enough funds to sign Nico Williams. So, no, Barcelona don't have to offload any players in order to sign Nico Williams, they only need to close the Nike deal. So this is definitely good news for Barcelona. But of course, as I've explained many times before, the clock is ticking for the club because Nico Williams wants to know his future before the preseason for him begins because he doesn't want to go back to training with Athletic Club Bilbao only to leave him hanging and end up leaving to join Barcelona. Now, it's reported that La Liga are also very much in favor of this move because, of course, you know, a move of Nico Williams to Barcelona would generate a lot of hype, which is good for La Liga overall. So everybody is on board. The club is on board. La Liga is on board. And, of course, we do know that Nico Williams is also on board. He wants to come to Barcelona. He's very excited about the project. He communicated this to Barcelona through his agent. He wants to play with his friends like Laminia Mal, Cobarsi, Alejandro Valde. And he also, of course, is very excited about a project that's based around youngsters. And more importantly, a team where it's not, you know, full of stars where he's going to be end up end up on the bench. But instead, he knows he's going to be a starter and has the chance of becoming a very important player in Barcelona. Now, we will end today's video with the news that Rafinha has confirmed in a social media post that he is not leaving now as you can see on the screen on the left side that was a post by uh, FC Barcelona they posted on Instagram celebrating the two years of the signing of Rafinha and on in the comment section he he replied um, that and we're going for the third in other words he wants to stay for a third year since the post was talking about the two years that Rafinha had spent at the club so Rafinha definitely confirming yet once again that he is not planning on leaving which of course it is a problem for Barcelona because Nike deal aside if Barcelona were to offload Rafinha they would be able to sign Nico Williams with that money but regardless of that you know offloading Rafinha would clear a lot of space in the wage bill it would help Barcelona lower their wage bill which is a big goal of the club but with Rafinha and Ferran Torres saying they're not leaving then Barcelona definitely have a problem on their hand and it's let this be a lesson for Barcelona not to spend so much money on players like Rafinha and Ferran and spend uh, on, on, sign, on signing players like Ferran and Rafinha and not to spend so much money on salaries of players like Ferran and Rafinha because then the club have a problem offloading those players because of course, why, why would they want to leave when they could just stay and earn huge paychecks 
while Barcelona struggle to clear their wage bill and instead they have to think about offloading important players like uh, Ronald Araujo or Ilkay Gundogan. A total mess, but let this be a lesson to Barcelona to be more careful in future signings. Anyways, that is all the news for this video. I will be uploading another video right after this one. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and drop a comment. And as always, Bisca Barça.